So uh, my name is Cynthia Mendes, and I'm running for Rhode Island State Senate for District 18, which is East Providence in Pawtucket. Um, I never thought I would ever run for office. It wasn't something that I even imagined myself doing, um, not even on the most fantastic uh, daydream. Um, and how I ended up running for office was actually some people in our community but really tired of a state house that didn't represent them, that didn't listen to them, that knew that they were struggling, knowing, knowing that mothers had to choose between paying their mortgage payment and paying their medical deductible, and that their voice was not even a concern um, in the state house level. And so I had some people that I admire, some friends in the community, who were really frustrated and asked me to consider running for office. Um, and after I left in their face, um, I had to really sit and consider um, the fact of the reality that people are facing. Um, and because it wasn't far-fetched, the idea that everyday people are the best people to step into that space of the state house and represent our community. Um, and that that's currently not happening. Um, we're all in this room for a reason, um, because we fully understand that the current legislative body, they're listening to someone, but it's not us, right? They're spending time in boardrooms, and they're talking to uh, medical insurance executives and fossil fuel companies, and they're being funded by the state house leadership who they insist on voting lockstep with, but they're not, they, we are not invited into that space. There's, it, it is been communicated to us really clearly that the state house is this impenetrable force um, in which is not porous and you get to enter that space if you've been tapped on the shoulder and invited. Um, fortunately, I enjoy going to places I'm not invited to. Um, so um, it was an honor for me to go ahead and say yes to the crazy idea of representing my community and the needs of my community. And part of the reason why I was excited to do that outside of entering the space that we're not invited was the idea that um, my community stories uh, reside in me, I carry them. Um, I know what it's like, I've worked in uh, the medical industry as well, um, I've worked in dental care, and I've sat across mothers who had to choose between um, a treatment plan that they knew they couldn't afford, um, and then they denied it because they thought of their children and they thought of the cost that it would, that it would cost their family. And it was, it was heartbreaking, you know, to watch the tears roll down, literally watch the tears roll down mother's eyes, knowing that they were not going to take the care and the treatment that they needed because, because uh, they couldn't afford it. Um, and to know that they're not being heard um, is uh, completely unacceptable to me. Um, and then to know that our children have to march in the streets because no one cares that we've got sea level rising and um, that their future is looking very bleak. Um, and that impenetrable force, they feel that as well, that impenetrable state house in which um, they're gonna be spending, their representation is gonna be spending time with the fossil fuel industry. Um, and how that sucks the life out of our, of our youth, knowing that they have to fight to get an education, a, a quality education, and then after they get that, and maybe if they're uh, drowning in student debt, only to look at a future in which their, their health is being affected by our environment, and that our current state, we know we are in a hot spot right now. We have the science to understand the long-term effects that our, the next generation is going to have to live with. And to know that, that they don't have a voice in our state house. Um, yeah, that's why I'm in it. That's why I'm running. Um, and, I, and I don't think that um, one of the important things to understand is um, running with amazing candidates and running with the co-op. Uh, it's really important to understand the plan is not to be an agitator. It's, the plan is not to um, dismantle the status quo or get our voices heard, the plan is to create policy that represents our community and our people. And, and the way that like, we expect the current establishment to hear our voice is by sitting on the couch and hearing it like everyone else, because they won't be in the state house. And we're actually planning on running an entire slate of candidates who are brave enough to represent their community and not continue to sell out by large corporations. Um, so I am emboldened with the idea of running for office because I get to do it with amazing people who refuse to do anything but represent their community and res represent their community well. And then um, the joy of watching the current leadership. No, I was, it was